YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Today I will be doing Carlanda's hair and she done cut it all the way down to the natural, all the way down to the natural. So I got some, ooh, I got some gripping to do. You can tell me this short. All right. So in order for her to grow it back out and stuff, she wanna just try to put some box braids in her hair. So let's get to it, you guys. Today I will be using the Shake and Go 10 times features braid hair okay and these are a lot of bundles all together one two three four five six oh it's ten of them that's why it's ten times whoa that's a lot of hair right there and carlanda told me that a lot of times you can just actually take one of these um bundles right here and kind of use it for a ponytail or something like that or a top bun or whatever so but today we're going to use it for braiding hair and it's really really long i don't know what the what the inches on this Okay, down here it says 28 inches. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, and we're back. And so we're doing the rubber band method, so I just got a lot of uh, her hair. And, you know, rubber bands and stuff like that, you guys, okay? And I went ahead in the front of her head. You see how it's kind of real sleek and stuff, okay? Real sleek and everything. I use this here. Use the edge control. The Swahili Edge Fixer. Got that on the front of her head. It's going to be real neat and sleek in the front. I didn't leave any edges out. After about a week or two, the edges are going to pop out regardless. And you can go ahead and do your edges. All right. And when you do this puffball method, you want to do them kind of loose. You don't want to do them too tight. You want them to be kind of loose so that you can bring the hair up through the rubber band. And I'm going to show you what I mean when I do the first crochet through here. Okay, you guys, I got the flash on so y'all can see real good how, that, how it where It come through there. Yes, these puffs got to be pretty loose so you can put this through. What I did, I split this through. So I put half of this through one time and half of, half of it through another time. The way they show these different things on camera, it is not that easy to pull it through. Unless their braid is just really small. So when you have a thicker piece of hair, you can split it two ways and put it, pull it through twice. And that's how I got mine to come through. Now I'm gonna go ahead and braid it. All right, you guys, I'm getting started on the first braid. You see how it's coming through right there. I made sure both parts are even. I'm just gonna take a little part from right here. <laughs> Ain't as easy as it look, you guys, but I am gonna take a little part and the braid hair is very, very, mm. Mm -hmm. very, very uh, long. I'm gonna wrap it around, you guys. Take a little piece. I don't want that rubber band to show because as you see, they're kind of brown. I'm gonna wrap it around here. Just wrap it around once, and then I'm gonna get started, okay, you guys? Now, if you guys have to go back, pause, look at that or whatnot, hey, be my guest. But you see that? But you ain't gonna see no rubber band like that. Then you're gonna get the three, you know, the three way of braiding going. What's up with this hair? But just add a little, little bit of hair from each braid in order to get the three, you know, the three way of braiding going. As y'all can see, that's a little piece of hair right there. We're gonna cover all that. We're gonna cover it. I hope this covers the. Uh, yep, yep. That rubber band covered pretty good like that. Oh my God. So I just did a one turn around it and then I just split it into three ways and just started braiding. And this should hold on to uh, as short as our hair is also. Stop, Duna. Lord have mercy. My little, my little son has gotten into the edge control. Okay, Tay, I I'll show him the braid after this. Mom life, you guys. <laughs> no. Cut it, cut it. And you get him. Okay, I'm going to show the first four here, you guys. So here's the first four braids right here. And they are really, really, they're going to be really long. And I like the way they're coming out. Very neat and nice. We do got one poking right there. The little brown right there. You've got one poking, but that's fine. That's how they're coming up. All right, I'm going to put a little edge control back here to pull them up some. All right, that's my first four. All right, let me keep on moving. I am pretty full with her braids. Pretty full with her braids, y'all, okay? So, you guys, y'all know I was taking the uh, I was taking the braid hair, and I was splitting it 
two ways because it was so thick to go through there, right? So now I'm holding it like this. And um, I, I know somebody else might already know this, but what I, I, I start doing is taking the little end, the little end part right here to feed it through. Give it a, give it a crochet needle. All right. I'm gonna start using the end because it's thinner. It's a thinner piece to pull through. I ain't even got to split it two ways. Uh oh. You know, you got to get the, the right grip on it. That didn't work out, you guys. Okay, y'all, we're going back in with it. It's a real life, real time. But as I said, I'm taking the little, that little end right there, and I'm pulling it through. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't get it now that I'm trying to show y'all. Lord have mercy. All right. Like I said, just a little end. You want to pull it through. There we go. Just got that little end come through there, and it, it's going to come through there. And then you just pull it on through like that. See there, like that there. <laughs> there y'all go. And then it's, it's through there easily, one swoop, without breaking it into two pieces. I'm bringing it on down through there. All right, let me get on. Keep on with her braids. All right, it's late in the <laughs> evening. She is very tired, but we are done with her braids. Come on, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> We're done with her braids. Let's see if y'all want to see. Yeah, you can see a few of the rubber band stuff. I never said I was an expert at this, but there go her parts and stuff. And we got her done. But the thing about you see how they looking and stuff. Uh, how they kind of fall in the back and doing like that, kind of crazy at the bottom. We are finna dip them in the water. I will show an aftermath of me dipping them in the water. I hope that this was helpful to somebody. Uh, this helps right here save on money also. What they'll do, the girls shoot, they'll let me go ahead and do their hair shoot. They don't even be playing. They just let me go in and do it. Try to see how it kind of come up. Yes, they look all right. Look pretty good to me. So uh, I'm really liking it. I like the way it came out. And I'm going to run some hot water all over it. To get it to, you know, to get to fall more, um, you know, to fall more loosely, you know, how it does after you dip it, okay? So, this is one way we save money is that I always do my girl's hair, the grown ones, and my grandbaby's hair. All right, you guys, just one moment. I'm just going to come back real quick after we dip it, see how it falls. All right, you guys, here here it is dip. You see it's real good and, and flowing. Ooh-wee. Yeah. Good and flowing. All right. All right, Sam, let's see it. Turn around. All right. So her braids are done, you guys. Thank you, God, for joining us. Thank you for listening. Until next time, YouTube. Bye. Peace. Stay blessed.